Hello! How are you guys? I hope you're doing great. This is Laurentino, Teacher Tino. I hope you're doing fantastically, phenomenally great. So, I'm making this video because I've been having a lot of questions from other teachers from all, all over Mexico regarding how to, uh, to this topic. How do I introduce a grammar topic? Okay? So, in this video, it's going to be uh, just to present simple present, for example. A lot of you probably have better ideas than mine, and if you do, please, you're more than welcome to share them. But uh, the first thing is that you need to know your material, of course, in, in this case, simple present. And the other thing is that you need to be motivated, right? And this is how you start. Mm -hmm. Even before you introduce grammar, you need to, number one, set a theme. What do I mean by that? Setting the theme is like, like talking or practicing what you're going to be talking about, grammatically speaking. So let's say, so in this case, hello guys, how are you today? We're going to be talking about daily routines, modeling. For example, my daily routine, hmm, I wake up at 5 a.m., I take a shower, I have breakfast, and I go to work. That's it, plain and simple. Now, elicit. Uh, Francisco, so what is your daily routine? And probably Francisco is going to be, um, teacher, I, I wake up at 6, I, I don't, I, I eat, I, I know eat breakfast, and, um, and I go to school. Okay, you, Mariana, what's your daily routine? You, elicit, you know, from a, a few students, and then have them practice. Uh-huh. So once they get to practice it, what's going to happen? They are going to, it's like, okay, it's easy. I mean, I'm like, it's easy. I can use English, like, quickly. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be with grammar or something, but no, it's, it's a piece of cake. So now after they practice, you go into the board uh, and now you present simple present and the rules, right? That is S or ES for he, she and it, third person singular, so on and so forth. Uh-huh. But it's going to be easier. Believe me, students are going to be like, Oh my God, ah, that's why the teacher told us uh, that. That's why we practiced this before. Ah, now it's easy. Instead of having them memorize rules, you know what I'm saying? So it's like first the use and then the form, okay? So I hope you like this video, believe me. If you, uh, probably you guys have better ideas in, um be, uh, a better methodology so please share them you know what i'm saying so as for me thank you thank you very much i hope he helped you a little bit and don't forget to subscribe to share and remember we're prestige english we're in linda vista so bye-bye have a fantastic phenomenal night